Hello, my dear. The topic is SVT, and the problem is uh, how to memorize the treatment protocol of SVT. Uh, it sometimes may be difficult to memorize the treatment protocol of SVT and VT and uh, other modality of arrhythmia. So, uh, for a mnemonic purpose, uh, we can keep in our mind that SVT is a problem of AV node. SVT is a problem of AV node. As you know, SVT is two type: AV atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia, and another one is atrioventricular reentrant tachycardia. In either type, it actually involves AV node. Okay, so. SVT is a problem of AV node and this uh, AV node, the AV, this is our key point, AV from the word A and V, at first we use this V, V for vagal measures or vagal treatment actually we are talking about the treatment protocol of SVT at first we will take the V that is the vagal measures what do you mean by vagal measures number one Valsalva maneuver as we know the Valsalva maneuver can terminate sometimes can terminate is VT if Valsalva procedure uh, fail then another procedure we can take uh, undertake that is uh, carotid masses carotid masses as you know the carotid masses stimulate the uh, parasympathetic that is the vagal nerve system and that uh, parasympathetic stimulation Vagus stimulation can terminate SVT. Regarding carotid masses, uh, we should uh, keep in our mind few information. Number one, before uh, giving a uh, carotid masses, you must have you must have examined the carotid uh, artery with your stethoscope for brewing for carotid brewing. If there is any brui, you must leave this procedure as because presence of brui signify that the underlying uh, thrombus may be present and that thrombus will embolize when you will give the message about the carotid artery. Another point, the carotid message should be given unilaterally, unilaterally at a time. You, you, uh, you can uh, give uh, carotid artery masses on the right side or left side but on the both side not at a time you can start on the left side then right side or just on the left side but not both side as because massaging on the both sides simultaneously will decrease the blood circulation to the brain and leads to cerebral hypoxia <coughs> okay so these uh, two uh, procedures that is the Vag uh, Valsalva maneuver and carotid masses. Carotid, uh, successful carotid masses, a good carotid masses can terminate SVT most of the time. And if this non-pharmacological procedure fail to terminate the SVT, then uh, you should go for pharmacological treatment. And that uh, for pharmacological treatment, we will take uh, or the later A from the AV node. So A is the beginning word. A is the beginning letter. Sorry. We will use the alphabet serially. A, B, C, D, and E. The beginning word, the most importantly used drug is adenosine. You know adenosine should be used in incremental dose 
where uh, I am not uh, going to describe the fully the uh, how and uh, how the adenosine is uh, administered and so on. In another video, I will talk on adenosine. But mainly, adenosine should be given in incremental dose. And before giving adenosine, the most important history should be taken that uh, whether the patient has a history of uh, bronchial asthma or COPD. As because most importantly, bronchial asthma, in bronchial asthma patient, adenosine should not be or must not be given as, as because it causes, uh, it can cause uh, bronchospasm. The another drug that can be used in uh, SVT management, the beta blocker beta blocker actually the beta blocker should be given in IV form here uh, and beta blocker also like adenosine it should uh, must not be given in bronchial asthma patient the next drug C for calcium channel blocker most importantly uh, rate limiting calcium channel blocker that is the bil, um, delta agen or verapamil most important, uh, mostly used pamil uh, is the verapamil. D for digoxin, another uh, antiarrhythmic drug that is used for the treatment of SVT. And if uh, these A, B, C, D fail to terminate SVT, then the final procedure. Actually, this E is not a drug, it is a procedure that is electrocardioversion. In another word, it is called DC cardioversion. And this DC cardioversion is of course synchronized. DC cardioversion is two types synchronized and unsynchronized. Synchronized DC cardioversion is used in uh, SVT management uh, and uh, VT patient. But mind it, unsynchronized DC cardioversion is used in VT with uh, cardiac arrest. That is the pulseless VT. Mind it. And in synchronized DC cardioversion, low joule, that is the 50 uh, joule, uh, is used. But in unsynchronized cardioversion, the high uh, joule, that is 150 or more, 120 to 150 joule is used. So, uh, these are the procedure A, B, C, D and E. Uh, another point we should keep in our mind that SVT patient can be categorized in two headlines. Is the patient stable or unstable? If the patient is stable, then you can go from the vagal procedure P, then pharmacological procedure A, B, C, D. But at the beginning, if the patient is unstable, then there is no scope for vagal measures or ABCD. In that case, uh, you must go for you must go for the E, that is the electrocardioversion, last one, E for ending. Okay. And, and another information is the what is the definitive treatment for this SVT? The definitive treatment of SVT is radio frequency ablation radio frequency ablation in another word it is called it is called catheter ablation what is the definitive treatment for svt another question another question is what drug can be used for prophylaxis of SVT. The drug used for prophylaxis of SVT are filicainide and propafenon. And another question, uh, drug contraindicated in SVT that is the 
A V R T that is the SVT with accessory pathway in SVT with accessory pathway that is A V R T the drug must not be used are digoxin verapamil this drug must not be used in AVRT as because this drug reduce the refractory period in accessory pathway thereby increase the conduction rate through the accessory pathway and thereby uh, accelerate or increase the severity of arrhythmia so these are the information regarding SVT management. Keep in mind at first the AV node is the problem of SVT and from the AV node the AV, V for vagal measures and A for A, B, C, D, E. So hope this information will be working for you and of course for me in future when I will forget all this information. So I will recapsulate at that time myself. So thank you, thank you very much.